Today's video is on pool pond setup. I just got home from work. I've been waiting all day long to work on this pool pond. I want to set it up for aquarium fish. I'm ecstatic about this. I've never done it. I've been doing tons of research all day long. I'm thinking about it before I go to bed. I am a psychopath with pool ponds right now. Let's deep dive into setting up a pool pond. Hopefully this video helps you. First things first, we are going to go to the depths of the basement. And yes, this is probably where you should keep your pool pond in your basement. Because number one, pool ponds are lots of gallonage and that means there's gonna be a lot of weight on the ground. You could keep your pool pond upstairs, but chances are, if you're holding 600 gallons, that's the weight of a car sitting inside your household. So it's not a great idea. And yes, you can keep your pond outside if you live in a tropical location. But of course, I live in the upper Midwest and it gets cold as heck. And you're really going to battle temperatures in your pond keeping fish. Here's a glimpse of my pool pond here. This is 600 gallons full. It doesn't look that large. But guys, let me tell you, this thing is bigger than it looks. I just want to give a quick glimpse before we deep dive into setting this pond up and some variables that you should think about if you're looking to buy and set up a pool pond for aquarium fish. So jump on the interwebs and start searching for Intex pools or pool ponds. The brand Intex makes a lot of these smaller, low-cost pools that a lot of us are using for pool ponds, and they're just one of the more popular brands. You will find that there's a wide variety of sizes, heights, prices. Figure out what size your space permits for your pond and just choose one. Uh, maybe you want to go super large. Maybe you want to do 1,000 gallons, or maybe you just want to do 100 gallons gallons maybe you want to do 300 gallons guys there is such a plethora of choices that you can choose for your pool pond to keep fishing once you have your pool pond in your position measure it because next we are going to build a styrofoam liner that the pool pond is going to sit on you can use any thickness of styrofoam you want just remember the thicker the foam the more of a barrier between your pond liner and the concrete if you're wondering this is a special tape that holds styrofoam together it's designed to do this you can find it at any home improvement store it's pretty expensive it's like 20 dollars a roll but i'm pretty ocd with some of my builds and i just had to have it all right, so now you're going to start by assembling your pool pond. For the most part, setting up your pool pond is pretty easy. Anyone that tells you it's only going to take like 10 minutes is lying to you. Just take your time. I know you're pumped up. I get super jacked when it comes to this stuff because you're just jonesing to get water it and throw fish in it. But just take your time, dot your eyes, take a deep breath, and just stand back and look at everything and just take a minute to just chill for a sec. Because if your pool pond leaks, chances are you're going to have hundreds of gallons of water in your house. And just take an extra second and dot your eyes and make sure everything is set up properly because it makes a big difference. And sometimes, you know, like I'm super OCD and you got to remember, this is a pool designed for kids to play in. So maybe you want to take an extra second and do some reinforcements, you know, add some sheet metal screws. You do not want this thing coming apart. These are designed to be put outside for playing for children to play in, not inside your house to keep fishing. Please remember that. Ah, yeah, there's one more thing I want to preach to you guys about. The location of your pond is huge. Uh, you know, I moved this pond over there, over here. I, I thought about walking around it. I thought about doing water changes. I thought about feeding the fish. Think about all these variables because, you know, it's going to be a huge deal when you go to try to move this pond because it's going to be absolutely super, super annoying to move. So make sure you put it where you want it because it's 600 gallons in this case, at least. What's up, Avery? Whoop, whoop. Well, here's the pool pond completely set up. This is going to be video one of this series. Hopefully this guide will help you. Now I'm going to answer some common questions that people ask when setting up pool ponds like this. And I know you're wondering, Chris, we're wondering about heating, filtration, et cetera, et cetera. Those are gonna be separate videos, guys. So I'm really excited for this to come. And uh, let's talk about some common questions. The number one most common question I think people ask themselves for buying pool ponds is what size to get. I think on average, you should go for something 300 gallons and above because if we're being honest, 
You could buy a 125 gallon aquarium pretty easily. You could buy a 210 gallon pretty easily. Uh, if you want to keep monster fish, I feel like 300 gallons at minimum is a good gallonage slash size to go with. And here's the deal. You could always get a bigger pool pond and lower the water level to make it safer for the fish in case they want to jump or what have you. And then it's less water volume, but you can still fill it more if you want to. The second most common question you're probably asking yourself is cost. What should I expect to spend on a pool pond? I would say anywhere between $90 to $400. That's U.S. dollars. But guys, use your resources. Get on the Wish app. Get on eBay. Get on Amazon. Do not buy a used one. I know Dusty, the guy that gave me this pond, he got it. Uh, actually, Dusty, go to Aquatic Guru YouTube right now and subscribe. He got this on the Wish app for $30, which is insane. Now they're like $300. So it's really all about the season, time of year, uh, uh, just patterns in how many people are buying. Uh, it really depends, guys. So just start looking at the prices and just gauge it from there. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Pool pond setup, thanks for following this one. Give this video a like, subscribe. It's really late right now. Uh, this is my life right now. I'm literally been working in the basement like crazy. You might be wondering, why the heck is there a wall right there, Chris? What I'm doing here in the basement is building load bearing walls. And what that means is, uh, long story short, there's gonna be a lot of aquariums upstairs. So when there's long spans here in the floor joists here, when there's long spans, you need to put in walls or load bearing posts. But guys, we're not talking about that right now. Pool pond setups for aquarium fish. Let me know in the comments section what you think of pool ponds if you're thinking about it. Please let me know. I read almost all the comments and I wanna give a huge shout out to all the paying members. Um, think about becoming a member. It's only $1.99 a month and help me fill this aquarium, this entire basement with aquariums. It's only $1.99 a month, guys. I'm gonna be insane with YouTubing now. So it's my promise to you. I love you guys. Uh, aquarium pool pond setups.